After what happened to Huawei, we all begin to question how are we supposed to use an Android device without Google services in the OS, even though it was the company who created it. As a person who travels in and out of China, I have first-hand experience on dealing with and without Google services. This includes downloading apps without Google App Store. In China, Google services along with many Western apps are banned. But with Android being open sourced, APK packages could be downloaded wherever it's available. And in China, people mainly download from third-party app store or official websites. So to demonstrate, let me try and download this car rental app that I use in China. As you can see, it's not available on Google's Play Store. So I will have to download it elsewhere. Normally, when you find an app for a particular website, it will have a link that directs you to Google Play Store to download it. But in this instance, it will just say download the app, and you can download straight from the website officially. Alternatively, you could. Download it off third-party app stores, like this one, and there are gazillions of those. So you will have absolutely no trouble finding one at all. But for the sake of、um, download having being safe and having the latest version, I'll download it off the official website. Now it says here you want you want to download it. And yes, I want to download, and now it starts to download. Unlike Google Store, none of these methods require you to register to download. You just simply tap download, and you install away. Well, let's. It looks like it's playing up. So let me download it from third-party app store. I really do not want you to pop up. Let me download it now. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So it says, "Do you want to download this app? You don't need any authentication, whatever that means. So you install, and then that's it. It's done. Now I could enjoy this app. That's just China, where lack of Google services is the norm, and apps are designed to update without Google Store. But what about the rest of us, people who are affected by the Huawei ban, people who are used to downloading from the Google Store? Are there already ways to download without Google? Yes. Just like in China, you could look for third-party app stores. For example, you could go to a website called APK Mirror, and this is also where I downloaded Flappy Bird for my Nokia three point one plus. Alternatively, you could download apps from phones manufacturers' own app store, like Samsung's Galaxy App Store and Huawei's App Store. However, neither of these are complete, so you will have to scavenge around. But one thing's for sure: there are no bank apps lying about, so you will have to rely on using web browser to access these services. You could also try using third-party apps as an alternative to the ones not available in the Play Store, but that's a big hassle. Because, as we all know from the Microsoft Lumia 950 XL's review, that lack of dedicated apps 
is a big deal. So unless you are happy to serve these websites on the phone or use third party apps from unknown developers instead, you will have a trouble uh, owning a Huawei phone if that Google ban really hits Huawei.